Alrighty, Leos, so this is going to be your reading for January 7th through the 14th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my messages uh, in the future. And make sure you guys also check out my description box if you're interested in purchasing a extended reading or purchasing a reading with me personally. Uh, all of that information is going to be in the description box for you guys as well as in the beginning of this video. Okay, so we're going to get straight in. This is going to be general. It's going to resonate for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leos only. And make sure you guys show some love on this video if this message does resonate with you and let's see okay so a lot of you guys you may be having this emotional discontentment right but you're getting that under control especially if this is something that you've been experiencing for a while you're starting to really reel it in um i feel as if some of you guys you may be in a relationship with somebody who's treating you kind of uh or you could be the one doing it. But somebody here in this connection is treating the other person like they're under their leash or something. Um, I hope you guys are not doing that to somebody else or not allowing that to happen to you. I'm also seeing here if you are in a really weird space, I feel like you have a really good friend around you or somebody who would like to be around you who can offer you a sense of comfort and also may want to go further than being just friends, okay? You may have somebody who has some romantic feelings for you. You'll know who I'm talking about. If they're overly sweet, then it's that person. Okay, yeah, this may be a younger person or they have younger energy. Ooh, they're not dropping cards today. Hold on, guys. Yeah, this may be a younger person, but overall, I feel like this person who does want to make some sort of love offer to you is waiting for some things to end in your life before they do actually step in, okay? Um... Yeah, they're waiting for some things to shift in your life as well as you guys just shifting into a new person. Uh, they may be like waiting for you to just change some ways, okay? I'm also seeing something here with an old situation. Um, I am seeing that you may be dealing with somebody who will not leave you alone, okay? Somebody, it looks like an ex. For some of you guys, an ex that does not want to leave you alone. Like this person keeps coming back around like a lost puppy some of you guys are also you guys keep giving to an old situation as well if you guys are wanting to move forward you can't keep giving energy and time to an old situation it's just keeping you in a really weird place keeping you kind of stuck to this person in not a healthy way at all you need to let the situation be what it is and let the situation die out because i feel like some of you guys keep revisiting this old situation and this doesn't have to be in love this could be in any sense but i really feel like it's more in love okay okay so i'm feeling also that there may be yeah, there, there may be a need for you guys to come out of your head about some things, get out of your house as well, not really staying cooped up inside of one room and just thinking about all the things that are wrong or just going over a lot of things in your head that just really don't matter for some of you guys, like giving a lot of attention to things that don't matter. So we're going to go ahead and use the regular tarot to see more in depth what's going on with you guys.
And I already pre-shuffled the deck, but I like to make sure we're really good and shuffled. So the first card out is the Four of Swords. Let me get it. So the Four of Swords. So let's talk. So what I'm seeing right off the bat for you guys, the energy is looking like you need to sit your ass down, okay? Or you've been sitting sitting with yourself trying to get clarity when it comes to how you can bring abundance in your life, okay? Some of you guys may be worried about a mother. Some of you guys may be in a weird space of needing clarity from maybe somebody who you have kids with, somebody who you want growth with. This could be a Libra, Taurus, whoever. Again, this could be a mother situation, uh, somebody who is very nurturing. But overall, if this isn't any of those things, I feel like you guys are taking some time to yourself to figure out, okay, how am I going to get this abundance in my life? Some of you guys really want to live more of a, a luxury life. You want things to be more abundant around you. Um, I feel as if there are some situations around you that are not 100% honest. And when I say that, I mean you may be surrounding yourself with people who don't belong to be around you, okay? Or you may be dealing with people who are bringing this energy out of you. It's either you're one of the people walking away or you're this person. But if you're dealing with people who are bringing you to this point of having to like cuss somebody out or get out of character, you need to reassess what's up with this, this energy. Why, why is somebody able to take that out of you? Okay. It's going to require you guys to work on your mouthpiece. <laughs> Work on, on the way you speak, the way you communicate. We have new energy here, like I said. I feel like there is somebody who wants to offer you a connection here, but they may feel as if you don't have enough to offer them. This may be an Aries. It doesn't have to be that sign, but there is a need for you guys to go into a new direction fast. Quick, fast, in a hurry, but with this, you guys are needing to make some choices to end some things. But there is a new beginning that's trying to come in for you guys. But you're going to have to be trusting in the universe. Like Some of you guys are not trusting in the universe. You, you, you're choosing to not act. But there's a... There's somebody who wants you. Okay. And I feel like you guys are really needing to just go out here and, and take the offer or extend it. Okay. This looks like another fire sign, guys. This person's going to give you an opportunity that's stable. For others of you, if we're speaking not in a love sense, I really feel like there is some things that you're needing to acknowledge when it comes to your decision making and when it comes to standing in your power and actually getting this financial freedom that you're looking for this financial independence but there's so many opportunities around you it's like are you going to take it though are you going to actually step up and take it or are you just going to be scared are you going to be in this this state of fear Start off small. Look at look at opportunities. Actually go out there and look at opportunities. But make sure that you're not just settling for anything that's just close to nothing. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your cross watcher in love for this week. What's going on with my Leo's cross watcher partner person in question for January 7th through the 14th, please. So they're showing up right off the bat as the high priestess. 
So you may be dealing with somebody who's intuitive or you may be dealing with a Pisces. Or you may be dealing with somebody who feels as if you may be keeping some secrets from them or they may be keeping some secrets from you, okay? Yeah, the moon card, right after that. What I will say to you guys as well, if you are feeling like there's any sort of like uh, work being done on you, you need to see someone uh, ASAP, okay? You need to see someone. But um, I feel like this person is trying to use their intuition when it comes to you. This person is feeling quite confused when it comes to you. They're trying to be strong, especially if they have kids with you. But there's some shit, some shit, I almost cussed. <laughs> there's some stuff that needs to shift within this connection here. I feel like this person is in a weird space of not really knowing what to do. Or knowing what to do, but just not choosing to do anything. Or they feel that way about you. They feel like you're fickle with your love. Like, very fickle. And you may be, like, juggling. So that's why they kind of left you behind. They also may be in a space of, like I said, feeling like you're fickle and trying to weigh out whether or not they want to leave you behind because you're so defensive. They want you to open up more emotionally. Uh, but they're feeling stuck in their head. They also may be in that weird space where they are kind of defensive and they need to open up emotionally but I feel like somebody's stuck in a really negative mindset and need to move forward here but there needs to be some whoo there needs to be an energy shift here guys um you could be dealing with a Capricorn or you could just be dealing with somebody who has you in a very toxic situation here where there's multiple people within it and it's a lot of anxiety so Overall, you guys have a lot going on this week, and I feel like you guys need to sh shift through it and uh, overlook this or get past this. So that's what I'm seeing for my Leos. I hope that I was able to give some guidance moving forward. If this resonated with you, like I said, make sure you hit that like button and book your own appointment if you guys do need personal coaching. My information is going to be listed below. And the extended version of this reading will be listed below in the description box as well on my Patreon. So I will see you guys later and you guys have an awesome week. Bye Leos.